Hey guys, this is review of episode 7 of season 1 of Westworld. Wow, spoiler alert because, you know, I, I mean, if you saw the episode, you know why spoiler alert. But, um, in, in any way, if someone doesn't want to know, they shouldn't be watching this video, whatever. So, the name of the episode is Trompe l'oeil, which is French, which I didn't understand on the, until after I saw the show. So, yes, the basic... Basically, the big moment of the night was that uh, Jeffrey Wright's character was revealed to be an android, a robot, just like every other uh, host in Westworld. Now, Bernard, his name is. So, it was amazing because, first of all, he's the head of uh, Westworld programming division, which is the one that create the artificial people, and the successor to the to this Arnold person that we haven't seen and uh, he's supposed to be dead but no one, no one really knows if he's dead uh, for real um, it was an amazing reveal because we didn't think it will we, I don't think many people thought it was going to go down that road let's say because we all thought yes he's going to be fired they all like play the game in order for him to be fired but that wasn't the case. The game wasn't played on him, it was played on Theresa. And it was really mm, masterfully done, if you will. But it had an ending that I, I truly didn't see coming. I mean, when, when they were like, yes, he's artificial, I was like shocked. But not as shocked as moments after, when Bernard actually was ordered by Ford to kill Theresa. That was just too much. I, 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 I don't know why they had to kill her because of course it's going to be a little suspicious if she doesn't come up because she's going to have a... So, someone's going to replace her at one, at one moment and uh, the actress actually uh, did a... Re um, sorry, uh, what's her name? Sitze Babet Nixon actually did a really good job as that character so I don't really know why they killed her, but I think they're really going the Game of Thrones route, if you will. So <laughs> they're going to kill everyone and anyone. We don't think it's going to be killed, or they're going to, you know, pull her or him out of Westworld. So, you know, apparently this is very Game of Thrones and we didn't know it. So, of course, it was um, shocking to know that um, Bernard is uh, an artificial person. Uh, actually, in the first episode, I don't know if it was in the first or the second episode, my mom actually was like, oh, I think he is an artificial person. And I was like, no, no way, he had a son, he had a wife, he has all this history, and uh, we, she, he's, you know, fucking Teresa, basically, and he's uh, uh, Ford's right hand, it cannot be, that's nonsense, and she believed me, and yesterday it was like, oh, you were right. Yeah. Moms are right 100, 100% of the time, apparently, because it was really surprising, and it, there, were, there were many moments that were, um, that, you know, like, you, re you recall them, and it was like, huh, but he was a human. He talked to his wife via uh, a Skype, if you will, a Skype of the future. So, it, it, you have to think that that was set up, that was fake, and that he Ford made um, made that only for him to feel that he was real. So he has really cutting edge technology. And you know it was true that the demonstration those two women did. I mean Teresa and uh, what's her name? I don't really know the name of the other woman played by Tessa Thompson. But uh, Charlotte, the, the demonstration that they, they did was just the most ridiculous thing ever because it didn't prove really anything. They only proved that they need is the the one that Elsie is going to pick up. I mean, Elsie disappeared in this in the last episode, and we didn't see her in this one. She apparently uh, left for vacations. I mean, officially, so no one's looking for her. But I think she's alive. I don't think she's dead. And I think that uh, she. I mean, as I said in my last episode, I think the um, the the blonde guy. The oh god, I really don't know my my name. Uh, well, the other Hemsworth brother uh, took him, took her. I really think he was 
like working with uh, Teresa, and Teresa actually um, confirmed that to Bernard, uh, I mean, not with our words, but it was obvious that she was um, spying on Ford, but we did, don't really know at what extent, and Elsie discovered something else beside that, someone else had been inside, so nothing is really revealed, I mean, yes, Ford killed Teresa, and we know Bernard is under his control, and everything apparently is under his control, including the board with uh, this woman Charlotte in charge. I mean, she's really not in charge. She, she was manipulated too. I mean, maybe she wanted to be manipulated, but whatever. Uh, and, you know, everything seems so under control of Ford that it's un inevitable that someone else is going to fuck things up because there are uh, three more episodes in this season, so... It's impossible that, yeah, three, three more episodes, it's impossible that it's going to end just now, that it's going to be resolved that um, fast, so that's really, I mean, it really was interesting, and as I said, uh, as I have said before, the most interesting part of the, this series has been uh, everything that has to do with the Enterprise, with the behind the scenes of Westworld, not really with, with Westworld as it is. For example, I mean, Maeve's um, storyline is really interesting. I really like that she has become so aware of everything that she cannot even be uh, frozen by the technicians. And she was really scared when they took her friend, and even more scared when her friend was lobotomized in front of her. I mean, and no one apparently thought it was weird that she was just standing there. But I, I think, I believe that's normal that they have to move the robots from one point to another but it was really weird but yeah but i think it's interesting that she wants to go out she wants to get out of westworld and yes the guy said it, it was really impossible practically because she was built to stay there and i think it's going to be really interesting to see how she gets out if she gets out but it will be great if she was like our ambassador to that world outside where we don't really know what it's like. I mean, we know this Westworld company uh, controls a big amount of land in the middle of the mountains of uh, the United States, but we don't really know what the people are like in the real world. We know how rich people are because they go to Westworld, but the rest of the people, I don't really... I mean, I think there's still poverty and people with less money, so I'm, think, uh, I'm thinking she will be, it will be interesting to see her interact with other uh, with actual humans thinking she is a real human but to be honest I don't really know uh, in the first uh, you know moment if she is going to be able to uh, get out I mean that's going to be really hard and if Ford doesn't notice that uh, that will be really amazing I mean she's going to be the big star and I have been saying that for a long time she's one of the best actresses at Tandy Newton in this uh, series. She has done a great job, her character is really interesting, and after Anthony Hopkins, basically, I think she's the one to watch. Uh, and, of course, there's also the um, um, storyline with Dolores, which is really, really boring. Uh, I, I still think she's really boring, she's really predictable. I knew she was going to sleep with that guy from the first moment they met, practically, so it wasn't really uh, surprising, the fact that she drew this canyon that actually Ford designed, it, it was interesting, that was the interesting part of her storyline this episode, in this episode, because he, we know that uh, Ford created that canyon, so he is the one that's going to, that's driving her to that side, and we don't really know, I mean, the Men in Black didn't appear in this episode, but I think he wants to, he wants them to clash at some point and after all James Marsden's character Teddy is with him and she is uh, her lover basically and she knows now that the other guy is going to leave because she has someone waiting for him so I think she still loves Teddy and she still, she still wants to be with someone I mean yeah she pretends to be this uh, really strong woman that doesn't pay respect to anyone and she's all I mean, she's everything, but come on. I mean, we know that she's the uh, lady in distress still. I mean, she really hasn't um, gone out of her programming as much as Maeve has, has been doing. I mean, I don't think she's really as interesting as Maeve, to be honest. 
So, uh, what else? Well, not really much else <laughs> happened in this episode, but I think these three, those three, three storylines were really interesting. I'm not really digging Tessa Thompson's character as an executive. I don't really see the point of it because, as Ford said, they are being manipulated every time by him, and they're not going. They are not going to retire him or oblige to retire him. He's going to die as president of uh, Westworld, and when he dies, he's going to leave someone behind, possibly Bernard as an android, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, and, and yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to Maeve's escape, that I, I'm not going, and I do not think it's going to happen that fast, and to see what else Ford has under his sleeve uh, against men, the men in black, maybe, against other members of his staff, and I want to see if my theory of Elsie being with the uh, with the Hemsworth brother is true. So I, I really think it is, and I hope she's the one that like you know makes uh, makes it move in uh, makes that part of the story move because I mean yes, it's interesting that someone is watching over. Uh, for the, that someone's stealing from him, but we really want to know who that we is. Is it, is it the main black? Is it someone else? Is it the board? So, who really knows? And I'm really, I, I have an eye on Maeve and a little less on Dolores because I mean she's the protagonist. Let's not kid ourselves. She's the main uh, leading lady in this um, series. So yeah, we have to look take a look at her. So yeah, whatever. This episode was really, really interesting, and I, I, I was right. It's getting better from episode six. Seven was great, and I ho I'm hoping that eight, nine, and ten are going to be amazing. By the way, the series was uh, renewed yesterday, as I think I think it was yesterday or maybe over the weekend, but it was renewed for a second season. So we are having one more season of Westworld to review next year, possibly at the end of the year, like. Here, I don't think they're going to uh, mix it with uh, Game of Thrones, of course. They're going to show this after Game of Thrones, and it's going to be easy beat because Game of Thrones is going to have seven or eight episodes this time, so it's going to be easier for them to accommodate Westworld Season 2. So thank you so much for watching this review. Uh, please like this video, comment, and share it on all your social media, and of course subscribe to my channel for more reviews of this series and other series and movies too coming up. Uh, in a few days if I can. Thank you so much. Goodbye.